Are you looking for that super portable flash system that still packs a punch and yet still affordable? Well, I just might have the answer for you. What is going on everybody? I am Patrick McBride and today I'm going to show you the portable flash system that I use for my run and gun style portrait work. Okay, so before I dig too far into this, I do want to clarify one thing that I'm by no means saying that this is the perfect setup for every situation, right? So when I'm working in the studio, I prefer to use a, a dedicated set of studio strobes for that. Um, but this is what I like to use for more of that run and gun style setup. Something where I need to knock out a lot of images in a short amount of time and something that's very easy to carry around. So I think it's good for shooters like me, portrait shooters that work a lot on location, but also like wedding, wedding photographers. I think this would be a perfect setup for, some, for them. Okay, so the system that I found works best for me in that type of situation is the Flashpoint 360, the Flashpoint Streaklight 360. So this is basically just a large, more powerful speed light. And um, it comes in a couple different pieces, which I'll go through everything and show you um, exactly what I use and what each piece does. But this, this particular flash unit, 360 watt seconds. So for those of you that are familiar with Alien B units, this is equivalent to an Alien B 800 flash unit um, or this, if you're an Einstein shooter this would be like an Einstein at like about half power so just to give you an idea for the power output of this particular unit so when you order this unit you, it comes in a few different ways uh, I like to use TTL I'm a TTL user uh, for a few different reasons uh, but this unit does come in a TTL version and a fully manual version but when you order it, you're gonna want to order it with the battery pack and with the flash head you can order this with just the flash head separately. Um, and that's for a couple of reasons. One, sometimes you may want to add more than one light for the system. In this particular battery, you can run more than one light off of. So that's why they allow you to order these separately. But if, if you're ordering this for the first time, you're gonna to want to order this combination of Flashpoint TTL, Flashpoint Streaklight 360 TTL with the battery pack. Okay, so once you have these two pieces, you have the flash head and the battery, you're gonna to need to connect the two together. So I know this comes with a cable that'll connect the battery pack to the flash head, but this is where, one area where I do recommend making an upgrade right away. And I, would, I recommend you get this Y style cable. And it's really, it's actually just this piece here. This is the piece that comes with the battery. But this Y splitter cable, what that does for you is it, it allows you from one flash head to draw from both battery ports. And the reason that's important is because it's going to give you uh, much faster recycle times. It's basically going to double your recycle time. Okay, so now that you have the battery connected to the flash unit, you need this thing to be able to talk to your camera. So that is where the R2 trigger comes in. And I should point out at this point that all of these are specific to their camera, uh, to the camera model that they go with. So uh, for instance, this one, this model number is Dash C, so that's for Canon. Um, they also make Nikon, Sony, and um, so you do want to pay attention to that and make sure that you are getting the correct system uh, for your camera unit. But so the the trigger that goes along with this that to help the TTL function wirelessly is the Flashpoint R2 transmitter, and it's this one again is specifically for Canon. This is the this is the transmitter that I have. However, they have come out with one now that's much better, the R2 Pro. So. Um, you know, this thing is honestly just a piece of junk. It's my least favorite part of the entire system. You know, the, it's, it's tough. You fumble through these menus. Um, a lot of things don't make sense. Um, the buttons, sometimes you have to long press or double press just to get in menus. And it's just, honestly, this whole thing's a nightmare. So if I were you, I highly recommend you go with the R2 Pro version of the same trigger. And by the way, I'll be linking every single one of these components. Um, in the comments, I'll give you guys a link. So. Don't worry about stopping this video, take notes. It'll be right there for you in the comments. Okay, so now that you have the battery connected to the flash unit, and then you're able to talk to this with the transmitter, now we need to figure out how are we gonna carry this thing around? So you're probably gonna wanna put this on a light stand of some sort. So there's a couple different ways you can do this. Actually, there's a lot of different ways you can do this, but let me show you the way I do it. So you have a light stand and you know, depending on the situation, I'll either use a light stand or I'll actually have a light pole, something that my assistant will constantly hold in place. Um, you know, it just, 
it's even lighter it makes it even more portable and it's just um, you know it just makes things a little bit easier on the go but sometimes if you're working especially by yourself you're gonna want to put this on a light stand so I'll kind of show you how I do that here so the first thing one of the nice things about this particular unit is that the battery pack is separate from the flash head so it does disperse the weight a little bit so the idea being that you either want to have this flash this battery pack use the belt clip and have your assistant wear it and then you can use it that way or um, you can do what I do and there's a separate bracket you can purchase and what this does is this will clamp onto your light stand um, it clamps onto here and then it gives you somewhere to clip your battery onto so it's just an easy way to make this make this work here and I'll show you what that looks like so that clips on there so just like that so now now the battery itself is attached to the stand and again now this is going to stay stationary on the bottom of the stand and it's going to allow us to put the flash head up separate the weight so that way um, you know the weights the stand is all not top heavy so you know if, if you're holding a light you realize top heavy light is not the greatest thing especially if you're doing this all day and if you're by yourself you don't want it to be top heavy either because you have a better chance of this whole thing blowing over okay so now that we have the battery connected to the stand we have to figure out how we can attach this thing to the light stand and again this is similar to a speed light where this actually has a hot shoe uh, mount on there just like a speed light would and there's a lot of different adapters you can get for light stands that allows you to attach a hot shoe to a stand however I would highly recommend you don't use that unit this is this is a pretty beefy unit and the whole thing's heavy and just by mounting it on there you're just asking for something to crack off and and you know just I found it not to be the most durable way to do it. So there's a there's a whole separate bracket you can get, and this this one is um, I believe by by Godox. Again, I'll link to this in the comments so that you know exactly what I'm using. But the nice thing about this particular mount is a couple different things. One, once you attach it right onto the stand, this this allows you to clamp not from the hot shoe, but it, this clamps onto the flash unit itself. So once you put this thing in here you can just clamp this whole thing down. And now once you do that, this thing is in here much more firmly than it would be attached by the hot shoe. I mean, this is pretty stable and, I'm, and I'm, I've never had an issue with this not feeling stable or strong enough. Um, so once that, once that clamps in there, you have a nice sturdy mount, you have your battery attached to the stand, lights attached to the stand. The other nice thing about this particular mount is um, it also gives you the ability to, to tilt the flash head but also it has an umbrella mount in here too so that gives you some extra options for modifiers but this one as well this one is actually it has a speed ring for a Bowens mount so you know all my different modifiers I have Bowens mounts for different soft boxes uh, my Mola dish my Mola beauty dish has Bowens mounts so now I can use all those different modifiers with this speed light and um, you know, it just gives you a lot of different options as opposed to just a hot shoe mount where, um, you know, it's kind of more flimsily mounted, you know, to the stand and then you're shooting this, you know, into an umbrella or something like that. Okay, so with this speed ring, again, one of the, 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 one of the bigger benefits is that it does have the Bowens mount, so I can use a various, um, you know, all kinds of different modifiers with it. So I want to show you one of my favorite modifiers to use with it is... It's a portable Octabox, and it's made. It's it's a Parapop Glow by Flashpoint. Um, so the reason I love this this particular modifier with this setup is just that, again, the whole point of this thing is to be some, something that's very portable, very lightweight. And again, the reason I even got this flash unit in the first place was because it's something that um, my assistant can easily use. It's something that can I can fit this whole thing in my camera bag. So when I fly, it's just extra extra items that I don't have to check and pay for separately um, but one of my favorite modifiers is this para pop by glow and the reason why is for a couple of a couple different reasons one um, it's just incredibly lightweight it's one of the lightest one of the lightest modifiers I've dealt with at least as far as soft boxes go one of the lightest soft boxes it's, it's probably even lighter it feels very similar to just an umbrella um, also it's very quick to set up you know it, it's I know it's hard to see in the video but you can just kind of pull on the on the rods to this and it clicks right in place and then when you're done you can easily just click these releases and the whole thing folds back down so um, this particular one I believe is the 38 inch 
it's not the it's not the least expensive modifier you can get but again i think it's it's well worth the money um, for all those reasons i just mentioned okay so one more item i want to show you because we've been talking about traveling with this thing is um, and this is something you do have to buy optional but um, one of the things you notice on this particular flash head is that this bulb is just kind of hanging out here so when you throw this thing in your case um, this is going to be the first thing you're likely to break so I highly recommend, it's just a few extra bucks, but you, you, and you have to buy this separately, but it's a, it's a bulb protector. And again, it just kind of slides over here and snaps into place. So that way when you're traveling, your bulb is completely protected and uh, it's just one less thing to worry about. Okay guys, so hopefully that gives you a better idea for this flashpoint lighting system that I like to use. And uh, you know, hopefully that explains all the different components that go along with it. And more importantly, why I use each one. You know, there's a, like anything, there's a lot of different ways to go about doing it, but this is just what I found out works best for me. So again, I'm gonna link all these components in the comment section below, so hopefully you guys go and check that out. Also, when you're on my website, if you're looking for a little bit more help on how to use this particular flash or just different ways you can improve your photography in general, general be sure to, you can hit me up with questions there. Be sure to sign up for the email list. And uh, with that, I think, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.